Well, Amy Pascal got the script. She got the script from a baby writer named, well, she's not a baby, but it's through um, a brand new writer named Liz Hanna, who had written this uh, script on spec. And she gave it to Amy. And then uh, we got the script actually from Richard Lovett and Kevin Huvane at CAA. They sent it to Stephen, Tom, and Merrill all at the same time. And within a week, everybody had signed on to the movie. We had to get going fast, which meant we had to figure out where we, were sh where we were shooting the movie, how we were shooting the movie, and who we were shooting the movie with. So we had Ellen Lewis, who had done uh, Bridge of Spies with us. She came on and she cast the movie uh, with uh, Steve and Amy and I, and she just did an excellent job. Every cast member, we got every cast member we wanted, um, our first choice on, with everyone, and it was just like, it felt like one of those things that was meant to be. Everybody was just somehow magically available to do this movie when we needed it done. So the movie takes place in 1971, and we had to figure out how to make Washington, D.C. look like it looked in 1971. And so we had to um, enlist Rick Carter. We enlisted Ann Roth. We enlisted um, uh, Deb Jensen, who was our art director, Kim Jennings, who was another art director, Rena uh, D'Angelo, who was our uh, set decorator. And, you know, we just immersed ourselves into the period. We looked at research. Amy Pascal had uh, reached out to a lot of people that had worked with Kay Graham, and they had started giving us, you know, just little pieces of information, what her house looked like, what uh, the newsroom looked like. We had little bits here and there, and everybody just, like, threw in all of their efforts to make it look like the period. She's amazing. She is like a craftsman of the highest degree. She does research and she figures out how to create a character with clothes and she plays with the actor. She, you know, she could tell you better than I could, but she plays with the actor with wardrobe, with accessories, you know, earrings, necklaces, boots, socks, um, pocket watches. She just like wants the actor to disappear into the character and when the actor no longer sees themselves they see their character that's when she knows she's created something and she did it flawlessly on this movie with you know Bradley Whitford with Tracy Letts with Tom with Meryl I mean Tom Hanks was Ben Bradley like it is undeniable that he became Ben Bradley and I think Anne had a lot to do with it I mean her clothing choices made Tom feel important and um, he had a bravado about him and he walked differently and he talked differently as a result of the way she made him look. This movie's about the truth and so in digging for the truth we wanted to go to the people that were responsible for telling the truth and so we went to Daniel Ellsberg and he, you know, sat in a conference room with a lot of us and he spoke to us like for three or four hours about his experience and why he had to do what he did. And it was a fascinating amount of time that we spent with him and fascinating to hear him talk about uh, his role in this Pentagon paper story. And we met with the Graham family and we met with Ben Bradley's family and, and just tried to capture the essence of who these people were. Movies about the importance of the press and uh, the power of the press, but it's really also a story about Katherine Graham, and it's a personal story about her transformation from a housewife, a mother, to a powerful woman who was the first woman to be the head of a Fortune 500 company, and it's you know it's that personal story inside giant stakes that really made it compelling to all of us and why we all had to sign on for this. Stevens told a fair amount of stories with strong women characters like Marion Ravenwood from Raiders of the Lost Ark, like um, the women in the color purple, and now with Katherine Graham. And on this movie, we were actually really able to get a lot of 
women behind, you know, in front of the camera, you have Meryl Streep, you have Sarah Paulson, you have Carrie Coon, you have Alison Brie. And behind the camera, we had, a, you know, a strong team of women. Amy and I produced the movie. Um, we had two art directors that were women. We had a prop woman who was the head of it. Liz Hanna wrote the script. Um, we had women, our UPM was Carla Raj. I don't know if I said her name right. Anyway, we had amazing women that all worked together to get this movie made. And we realized that there were more women than men on the set, which I think this is the first time that that's ever happened on a movie that I've worked on. They've got a lot of water under the bridge. But you can't help, like on this movie and on every movie you go to, you can't help but walk on to the scoring stage and really feel um, that John's elevating the incredible story that Stephen's already told. He's elevating it in a way that you never thought possible. And the two of them together, their collaboration and the way they work with each other is something to behold and it's something to treasure. And, and you know, you forget that John Williams has been doing this forever because he just feels like he's like a guy putting music together. But he's John Williams. I mean, he's been nominated for 50 Academy Awards. He's an icon and he's a legend and he works with Steven so well, the two of them together. It's, it's um, I don't know, for that, it's, in a, it's an amazing collaboration. Janusz and Steven have collaborated so many times together that they have a shorthand where they're not actually even really talking to each other um, in a real, literal way. They actually just have conversations about what they feel the uh, lighting should look like and how they feel the time period should be. And then Janusz goes off and does his thing and Steven goes off and does his thing. And, and it's like, it's an unspoken language between the two of them and they just, they innately get what the two of them want for the movie and they always want the same thing and it sort of goes hand in hand.